Hey, what's up guys? Beastly Fry here with another video. I want to go over some timeline battle stuff today. Um, nothing special, just uh, my rants, my random rants. The team I'm using will be with Hyperion, Tier 2. Um, he's got the ultimate obelisk of recovery 60% and dodge 20%. Also be using Loki as the secondary position, I believe. Actually, no, she'll be last, actually. Um, almost geared all the way up, very close. Uh, actually, do I have... Yeah, I got known biometrics. Uh, she's fully maxed out. I am also Groot. Will be her ISO set, and I'll be using Shirag Tier One, which is no match for Shirag Tier Two. So, and I maxed her out finally here. I didn't have her uh, Sky Dragon all the way up, but uh, I did that last night. So here we go. Actually, let's check the store. Lab, I need some debris because we always need debris. Is there any? No, but you know what? Gears helps though. So, and sometimes I buy these because sometimes your level, your person is close to another rank, and you gotta um rank them up quick without wasting some energy to go in for one game. Um, so let's hit some timeline. I have a few left. It's four. Okay, so let's let's do it. So I'm gonna be skipping a lot, but it's kind of annoying. See, I, I'm really no match for a tier two Captain America Sharon Rogers. So I, I, this is just ridiculous when it comes to yeah. If you're funny, I'm not going to do that. Right now, my my level is vibranium here. So I have 47 wins, seven losses, just simply because I'm sick of wasting money skipping players um so vibranium here is just um the highest the highest rank you can be i'm at 67 percent. so when it resets i'll probably be um right it says lead guide yes yeah, it's demoted under 20 percent. so i'm at 67 percent in my rank so um it's not gonna be uh very good uh, my rank award approved. I'm at 67, so I'm gonna be like I'm in the 51 to 100 percent. Do we actually get the 120 crystals? That'd be awesome. Whenever they reset it, but uh, I think I can do this one right here. Silk is kind of annoying as well, but let's see how we do. I don't like how in timeline battle that your character doesn't have all the skills that you're disposable. Yeah, not disposable. That makes no sense. At your disposal in the beginning of the match. Like, all the skills are going to time up. And I wish I moved out of the way for that, but I didn't. So, I leave it on autoplay and I'll hit the the skills. I'm going to try and beat Moon Knight here with his heal. I do a lot of damage really quick. And here we go. He healed. Do another damage before his thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he healed again. You gotta time it just right for him. Right before the four seconds is up. There we go. And this should be not too difficult with her. Her DPS is just too low to really do much, even with her shield, especially when the computer's playing. It's not really like um, a struggle. But so you see things, matches like that, that's okay. But when you have nothing but tier two Shrog all the time and some world bosses, the only two that can really do damage to me are just the uh, are the world bosses and the tier twos uh, of Shrog. There's no like no one else but Shrog. I actually did see a Carnage tier two this uh, when I played the first game, but um I I skipped it because I I saw the uh, I saw the new um, update. I read them, I watched videos on them, and it's just, he's going to be an absolute beast tier 2, and so we're going to tier 2 him, so. you probably see a lot of them, because a lot of people have had their characters for a long time. So, they've had uh, the opportunity to already max his gears out, just waiting for the tier 2. So, uh, this is, see, this is nice. These these battles right here. I got, my rank is 3,000 too, so it's, it's very weird I'm getting these people here. Usually, I have to skip seven, eight times before I could even find someone I could even come close to. So, 
Alright, you did your move, I'm gonna do my move. Damage blocked, huh? Alright. I think I have like a mine resist, so it, that just doesn't really work on me. And you're at 45, you should be. Oh, it took more than one hit? Yo, you got lucky, son. Yeah. My Hyperion Tier 2 is really no match for anyone other than, again, Shirog, uh, sometimes Loki, and I mean, other than the world bosses, but I don't, if I see a world boss, I just skip it, unless they're like a really low rank or something like that. See, this, this I would, I would probably lose, because Tier 2 Shirog, if I had all my moves in the beginning, I'd probably be able to take her, because the, the bot isn't as good as a person, but... It's just, it's too much. This will be easy. When you see Hulkbuster without his um, uniform, it, it's, pr it's probably going to be an easy match. He's still, that last move is pretty still dangerous. Um, he's got a physical immunity, I'm pretty sure, too, in the beginning. Um, but, and you could always, almost for almost every character that shoots a laser or does something forward where you have to um, kind of, you can't move, just like that move, like that. In the beginning of your timeline battles, if you just, when you know they're going to do that move, just instantly, like, move up or down, right, when the game starts, and you can probably most likely get the first hit because they're too busy doing their move. So that's always a little trick to make sure you get the first little edge, because you definitely have a disadvantage going into timeline battle. Um, the bots have all their moves at the start, and yours need to buff before. Silk Tier 2. I don't really know... Let, let's just see. I, I don't. I haven't. I don't have that good of a score, so or a like streak. So who cares? I've already lost a few. So I'm gonna move. I'm probably gonna be in the web for like five seconds at this point. Um, I still have not hit her. There we go. Yeah, she's still squishy even with her tier two. That uh. I should not have killed her that fast. No, I definitely would not. Too, too, uh... Silk. She's a great character, regardless. You really do not need to tier 2 her, I don't think. Maybe for more DPS, but... She does still clear World Boss, I'm pretty sure. I've used her a few times for World Boss. But it's, it's kind of difficult. Uh, it's just, it takes me too long. Um, my strikers aren't that good. They don't, I don't have a World Boss striker yet. Very close, very close with Pox and Midnight. She's 55, 5 star. Ant-Man is kind of annoying. He's got like a 90%. See, this is where it gets to... See, these characters... Look at these characters' points. 14,000 points, and I have 3,000. Like, there's no chance here. How do they get these? See, there's a Shrog. If it, if it was... I would take on the Hulk, because Hulk sucks. But Chirag, like I can't, I can't deal with it. Super Giant, um, I'm not sure how my Hyperion does against World Boss. Sixty, nah, it's gonna be like way overpowered. Forget it. That's not even. I don't know why I thought about that. See, yeah, eighteen thousand. Oh my God. See, and I'm just spending right now. So this is fifteen hundred just to skip this, and I'm kind of running low on gold. Did I just see this person? I mean, it's just the same team. I'm not too worried about Hulkbuster because he's got a physical immunity, and my my main move is an energy one, so it's never that big of a deal. So I usually take on Hulkbuster, which is why I stopped using my Hulkbuster because there's just so many people that could just take out Hulkbuster. But see, I, I, these Shirogs, man, like the only reason I'm skipping is because I cannot beat Shirog. Two thousand just to skip. Oh my god. I'm not gonna find it. I'm not gonna find someone to beat. I'm just gonna take the the lesser of the two evils. I think. I I don't even. I can't. I cannot do this. Okay, two more times, and I'm taking whoever it is. This is usually why I lose. No. Nope. That's even worse. Damn it. Okay, one more time. This is like doing four people because Groot comes back to life. All right, let's do this. You know, sometimes 
if you are lucky, I have beaten a Thanos level 60. Because only because it's it's a bot playing the game, it's not the person. So all you have to do is dodge his move and hopefully get him right when he comes out. So he's gonna probably go into a six star right away. Okay, that was close. Oh wait, he just did it. Damn it. Okay, so he could just easily dodge it and then well, he dodged it. So okay. Yep. That's another time. So another six star move here. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, he just got me with that. See ya. No, oh, you, oh, you block it. Uh, I threw him out of his. Oh, man. I'm probably going to lose this game. If I can't do it with him, I'm not going to do it. it. Yeah, this is not going to be much of a... Maybe I could hit him real quick. Oh, man. Damn it. Shield. Oh, come on. Why didn't it, like... Why didn't it knock him out of his... Whatever. See, this is why I don't play. <laughs> After a certain point, there's just, there's no one you can beat. At least not for me. I don't have world world bosses. I mean, I'm just an average player. I'll have a world boss soon. Very soon. My Proxima Midnight is so close. There's no point in ranking up her thing because you can't use her in world boss yet. But, um, she needs two, two rank six black antimatter. And I have none of these, and I'm just starting to build it back up because I just ranked up to 55. Um, so 290, I probably need like, so, so some 300, so like, you probably need like a couple thousand, like multiple thousands, just in this slot alone. Um, anyone knows how much exactly I need, so okay, then I could start doing it. I'm not going to start right now. Um, I had over a million... Last night I just didn't put to this because it's not it's not worth it. Um, it's just throwing money away and until you can rank up, there's no point really. So, there's my random rant for today, guys. I will see you in the next video when I'll be trying to clear the world boss. I mean, it hasn't reset today. It'll reset soon. Got about an hour. Uh, I think it's Ebony Maw. The Ebony Maw. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.